everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll continue talking about Pandas AI, which helps you replace SQL queries with natural language prompts. So whatever you could have done with an SQL query, now you can do with plain natural language instructions. So the good thing is uh, that within the previous example, we covered quite a lot of ground. We built a a MySQL database, which comprised of an e-commerce based data. So you would have customers, you would have employees, uh, you would have offices, orders, payments, product lines, and products. So in this particular problem, we'll focus on the employee table. And then we had a very simplistic code. So pretty simple stuff. We had our import statements. So uh, this particular example, within the Panas AI would uh, be using OpenAI. So we provide our OpenAI key over here. We initialize our LLM. There's a MySQL connector initializer provided by Panas AI as one of the connectors. So we provide all of our details uh, regarding the uh, MySQL database. And then we use the smart data frame initializer which sort of converts all the data fetch from the mysql database into a data frame and we sort of query that data frame with a particular prompt and we'll get a response from that so this seemed pretty efficient and pretty magical itself because uh people would be using uh prompts over sql queries which would be kind of cool so in this video we'll continue uh upon this code but what if you want to use some open source uh, LLM or you want to use some different LLM? So we'll be exploring some of the uh, integrations uh, that Panas AI provides you. So here we have a section of LLMs and we have a bunch of them here. So Bamboo LLM, uh, we have uh, some integration with Google Palm API. Uh, we have integrations with Hugging Face, Azure, Langchain Models, Amazon Bedrock, so quite a lot of stuff. So uh, in this particular video, we'll be exploring how we can use Amazon Bedrock. So let's go ahead. And the one problem Amazon Bedrock has that currently it only supports Claude 3 Sonnet. Now, Claude 3 or Entropic in general is like one of my personal favorites. So yeah, that's the example that we'll be exploring. But eventually as different models roll out, you can use a bunch of them um, like Llama 3 and you know different others. So here we have the very same stuff that we had here. Uh, pretty much everything is the same. We have our import statement. The only difference is Boto 3. So if you have used the uh, AWS services before or AWS CLI before, you might be aware of what Boto3 is. So it's like a wrapper that helps you uh, sort of uh, connect with the AWS services and use them within your code. So pretty standard stuff over here. We're loading our .env file and then we're uh, accessing some of the secrets of uh, placed within the .env file in terms of bedrock access key and bedrock, bedrock secret key. Then we have, uh, we're initializing the bedrock runtime client and we're using Boto3 for that. We're providing it with the uh, placeholder bedrock runtime and our AWS access keys and secret goes here. So basically these are the AWS access and success, a secret key that we uh, that if you have an AWS account, you can uh, pretty much um, download them from there. So no biggie. Then we have the very same MySQL connector that we have used within our previous example. Uh, we are providing with uh, our database name, our username and password. And this time I'm using the employee table. And I'm trying to fetch a record uh, of the job title president, which happens to be Diane Murphy, and he's our president. That's the very first record. Coincidence? 
All right, so we initialize our LLM over here and the rest is pretty much the same. We provide our LLM to our configurations within the Pandas AI Smart Data Frame initializer. And then we go ahead and type in the prompt. So here we can say, so this is exactly from the previous example. We can't fetch the address because we don't have the address over here but we can sort of try to fetch the first name and the last name. So let's try to do that first. What is the uh, first name and the last name? All right, so we get the first name is Diane and the last name is Murphy. Let's go ahead and tweak this a bit. What is the full name? Let's see if it cracks it. All right, so we get the answer and it, so we don't have a full name row here, but surprisingly it has sort of created a column or presented the record in such a way where it has figured out like Dan Murphy is the full name. So kind of cool. So this is how basically you can integrate uh, any LLM. It's pretty easy, I guess. Um, the only difference would be uh, right here. So basically you would have to provide different set of configurations or use different set of a initializer uh, just like we used uh, Bedrock Claude here. Uh, the rest of stuff is pretty much the same. So yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one.